So I'm Koshik from Seven Bridges Genomics. I'll talk about a, an, a, a developer tool for the Common Workflow Language. As some, of you, as some of you may know, the Common Workflow Language is a standard for describing workflows and tools. Uh, the same description file that uh, can be used in multiple, multiple runners, and these different runners would have different backends, so you, you could take the same description file and run it on your local machine, on your HPC, on cloud, without modifications. Um, for, thank you. Um, for people who are get, just getting started out with Common Workflow Language or who don't want to deal with the syntax of the Common Workflow Language, uh, they have access to something called Rabix Composer, which is a visual programming environment for Common Workflow Language. Uh, with this environment, you can intuitively develop uh, workflows by just dropping nodes onto a canvas, stringing them together, just like you would draw on a napkin, uh, or you can use wizards to build up tools. And, and this is, and this is a Apache 2 released uh, piece of software that you can download and use. Uh, however, we found that there are users who prefer to, to code CWL directly. Probably this is a more natural flow for them if they're experienced developers. And we would, we would like to, to, for them to have the same code intelligence features when they're writing Common Workflow Language as they would have access to if they were writing R or Python. So a language server is a, is a back-end program that runs outside your code editor, and it talks to your code editor to a standardized protocol called the language server protocol. And the advantage of this is that you can write one, one program, which is the language server, say a Python language server, and you can have that uh, provide the same code intelligence to your own editor. So if you like VI, you can use the VI with the same language server. If you like VS Code, you can use VS Code with the same language server. So you don't have to keep uh, writing plugins for each individual language server. So Benton, which is the, the program I'm going to be talking about, is a language server for the Common Workflow language. This is a screenshot of Benton working with VS Code. And Benton offers some features that are quite useful for developers as they're creating workflows because once you get a big enough workflow, things can get, get a little bit complicated. And so it offers, Benton offers some features that, that are um, useful. One of them, you may know that, that Common Workflow Language allows you to link to nest workflows, sub-workflows to an arbitrary depth. So you can have a, a parent workflow and a sub-workflow and another workflow in, in, inside that. Uh, Benton allows you to click on the link that you have in your code to a sub-workflow and then jump to that code. And then the, your editor takes care of all of this and so you can jump back and forth uh, between, between the different workflows. In the same field, in the run field, where you link to different workflows, you, um, you have a inline file picker. Uh, Benton supplies this. So basically, without leaving the keyboard, you can explore your, your local disk and att attach sub-workflows. <coughs> Uh, Benton also offer, offers syntactic and some semantic validations. So if you have a workflow, it will check your syntax and will also check for some correctness. In this, in this particular example, Benton, Benton is telling you through VS Code that one of your port IDs is wrong and is also telling you what it was expecting in that field. It al also offers standard syntax highlighting. In this case, since we have JavaScript that can be embedded in Common Workflow Language, it gives you syntax highlighting for both the Common Workflow Language as well as the embedded JavaScript. One of the useful features that it can do is give you a document structure, and this comes in quite useful for large workflows. Basically, this is a screenshot showing a workflow with multiple steps, and all you have to do is click on the step on the left, and the, and the editor will scroll to the relevant step. So this helps in navigating within within a workflow. So one of the promises of the language server is that it's, it's going to work with different editors if they are accepting the, the, the language server protocol. So this is a screenshot of Benton running with VI. In this case, it's, it's an illustration of port completion. Benton discovers that you are trying to fill out an input port for a step, and it offers you completions uh, based on what your enclosed tool uh, has. Uh, we mentioned Rabix Composer before, which is a visual, a completely visual en environment for developing work workflows. Rabix Composer does have a code pane because we found out that while 
for most of the tasks, you can draw and create workflows visually. For some, some things, you really need to go into the code. Currently, the Rabbix Composer code pane is very basic. It's not so comfortable to use, so we're hoping that we can use this technology, the language server technology, to improve the kind of th the code pane, the features we have in the code pane. Uh, this is a very early release of this software. It's Apache 2, it's available on GitHub. Uh, I, would most, I would welcome any kind of feedback. Please download and use it. And I would especially uh, appreciate feedback in, in, getting a, in your experience in getting Benton to work with your favorite editor. Uh, thank you very much.